Around 65 million years ago, a six-mile-wide asteroid smashed into Earth with the power of more than a billion nuclear bombs. According to some estimates, around three-quarters of life was snuffed out by the mass extinction that followed. Now, researchers are sifting through the impact zone to piece together the events that unfolded on one of the worst days in Earth's history. Scientists are taking rock core samples from the impact zone in Mexico, known as the Chicxulub Crater. The site of the crash of Chicxulub has been on record since the 1980s and is home to the impact that is more than 100 miles in diameter, reports Smithsonian Magazine. Scientists have also discovered signs of a massive tsunami around the Gulf Coast. They believe the asteroid hit Earth with such force that, within 10 hours, a huge wave made its way along the coast, causing mass destruction. The wave would have caused sand to end up on dry land, while plants would have been thrown into the ocean. Signs of this geological mix-up can still be seen today in sedimentary layers of rock that mark the final day of the Cretaceous period. The blast also triggered earthquakes and landslides in regions as far away as Argentina. But perhaps the most devastating result of the impact was the intense heat that followed. The asteroid caused tiny particles of rock to shoot into the air and settle into a thin layer across the world. The kinetic energy carried by these ferules is colossal. About 20 million megatons total or about the energy of a 1 megaton hydrogen bomb at 6 kilometer intervals around the planet, University of Colorado geologist Doug Robertson told the Smithsonian. That kinetic energy would have produced intense heat beginning around 40 minutes after impact and lasting for several hours. For several hours following the Chicxulub impact, the entire Earth was bathed with intense infrared radiation from ballistically re-entering ejecta, Robertson and his colleagues write in a 2004 paper titled Survival in the First Hours of the Cenozoic. Experts believe that much of the Cretaceous life that lived on land disappeared in just a matter of hours. Dust and soot from the impact and fires would have created an impact winter with zero sunlight reaching the surface of the Earth for a year or so. For those organisms that miraculously survived the scorching temperatures, they had to contend with the loss of sunlight. Robertson explained that losing the light from the sun caused a complete collapse in the aquatic system as the phytoplankton base of almost all aquatic food chains would have been eliminated. It's believed that the more than 180 million years of evolution that brought the world to the Cretaceous point was destroyed in less than the lifetime of a Tyrannosaurus rex, which is about 20 to 30 years. Robertson says it is difficult to get a complete census of the damage, because dinosaurs get a disproportionate amount of attention. He believes pollen and plankton hold more clues to what happened on the day our Earth changed forever. But the fossils that have been found show that about 75% of known species were completely wiped out. 